Looking for a simple and economical way to simultaneously dose two of the most important supplements for a reef aquarium with a single reactor? Stay tuned for more details. Hello, this is Jeremy from Coralview, welcoming you back to another episode of CBTV. Calcium hydroxide, lime water, or more commonly known in the hobby as Kalkwasser, supplements equal amounts of both calcium and alkalinity in one simple solution. The addition of calcium ions will supplement the calcium levels in the tank while the hydroxide ions react with the dissolved CO2 to form biocarbonate and therefore supplementing alkalinity. A key benefit of Kalkwasser is that when properly added will help maintain elevated pH levels and encourage optimal coral growth. Kalkwasser solution has a natural pH of 12.4, which helps bring the overall aquarium pH up. A side perk to Kalkwasser use is its ability to maintain phosphate levels low by precipitating out a solution and making it unavailable for algae, cyano, and unsightly dinoflagellates. Over the years, Kalkwasser was most commonly mixed into a freshwater reservoir managed by an auto top-off system to slowly supplement Kalkwasser solution throughout the day to replenish evaporated water. Although this approach is simple, inexpensive, and does work, it also has led to many catastrophic tank crashes and total loss of corals. If calc is overdosed, the aquarium pH can instantly spike to unsafe levels, precipitate out alkalinity, and deplete CO2 levels within the water, resulting in coral death. Another drawback of the ATO method is that most water top-off containers are not airtight. Kalkwasser degrades and loses its efficiency when exposed to air. Let's not forget that Kalkwasser is very hard on pumps. Even when the pumps are properly maintained, Kalkwasser will shorten their lifespan drastically. A more efficient and safer method of adding Kalkwasser to your system is by using the ice cap Kalkwasser mixer. This reactor is a sealed container that automatically houses your Kalkwasser solution in an airtight environment, preserving its freshness and potency. RODI water is injected into the bottom of the reactor, then forcing out a highly saturated solution from the output located at the top of the reactor. An adjustable RPM motor magnetically mixes the calc into solution a few times a day to maintain a continuous source of super saturated Kalkwasser and eliminates the need for frequent manual mixing. The use of a programmable dosing pump like the Camor X4, the new X1 pump, and even the continuous pump like the FXSTP for larger systems can provide a highly effective and safe way to feed Kalkwasser into a reef system. The ice cap calc mixer features adjustable speed magnetic mixer, solid PVC and acrylic construction, compact profile easily fits under your tank, reactor vessel detaches from the base for easy maintenance, push fit tubing connectors, convenient quick fill cap for mess free calc washer addition, Sealed, airtight environment preserving solution potency. Gravity drain design ensuring reliable performance. The ice cap kelp mixer is available in three sizes. The smallest of the mixers is the ice cap KM120, which has a 5 inch body with a footprint of 5.7 by 5.7 inches and 25 inches tall. It holds approximately 1.5 gallons and is suitable for aquariums up to 100 gallons. The IceCat KM150 has a 6 inch body with a footprint of 7 by 7 inches and 25 inches tall. It holds approximately 2.5 gallons and is suitable for aquarium systems up to 200 gallons. And largest of the mixers is the KM200 which has an 8 inch body with a footprint of 9 by 9 inches and 25 inches tall. It holds 4 gallons and handles systems 300 gallons or more. For the installation of our ice cap Kalkwasser mixer, we will need the following items. Kalkwasser, RODI water and reservoir, a reliable dosing pump to feed the reactor, an appliance timer or controllable outlet to periodically operate the motor. Place the ice cap calc reactor upright on a flat and stable surface away from high traffic areas and out of reach of children. Use an occluded barb, connect the flexible tubing included with your Kimor pump 
to the reactor's input line pre-installed and clipped to the top of the reactor. Connect the other end of the line to your Camor's output. Now take another length of tubing and connect it to the output located at the top of the reactor. Please ensure that the output line is never directed upwards above the reactor. If the output of the reactor is too low in relation to the sump, then raise the reactor until the reactor's output is above the sump level. Secure the line to the sump in a high flow area away from the pump, heaters, or your pH probe. Never restrict the output in any way. Loosen the screws on the lid enough that the top will rotate slightly counterclockwise and lift off. Before we add the calc washer, we must place the included magnetic stir bar to the inside center of the reactor. Fill the reactor three quarters of the way with RODI water, plug in the mixer, and test it by setting the speed to half. Going too fast will cause the stir bar to spin off center. Next, add calc washer powder. If you have a KM100, add 90 to 120 grams of calc washer. For the KM150, add 120 to 150 grams of calc washer. The KM200 will require around 150 to 180 grams of calc washer. Avoid adding excess amounts of calc to the reactor, as it will cause the calc washer to cake up at the bottom and render the mixer useless. Manually turn the mixer on to pre-mix the water and calc washer into a calc slurry and top off the reactor with the RODI water till it reaches the output inside the reactor. Wait about an hour for the calc washer to settle before dosing. Fully saturated calc solution will be clear. Milky, undissolved calc washer should never be added to the tank as it can quickly spike pH and alkalinity to fatal levels. Replace the reactor lid into the designated spots with the screws and rotate the lid slightly clockwise. Tighten each screw to lock and seal the lid to the body. Plug the power adapter into a timer or controllable outlet. We recommend mixing for about 60 seconds every 4 hours. Do not run the mixing motor continuously. Before we begin dosing, we must test our calcium and alkalinity of our aquarium water and, if needed, supplement to our desired levels prior to using the calc reactor. Do not use calc washer for this purpose, as it will significantly impact your aquarium's pH and CO2 levels. We suggest using a separate solution of calcium and alkalinity. Let's start by priming the reactor and lines by continuously running the dosing pump till liquid exits the output line. Then, set the doser to dispense half of the volume required to replenish your system's evaporated water on a daily basis. So, if my 2 to gallon system evaporates 5 gallons of water a day, I'll set my doser to dispense 2.5 gallons in small amounts periodically throughout the day. We highly recommend you carefully monitor your pH when adding calc washer. In addition, testing your calcium and alkalinity will help you dial in your dosage to the exact amount needed to sustain demands of your system. Maintenance on the ice cap calc mixer is simple. Depending on your demand, calc washer in the reactor may need to be replenished every few weeks. But thanks to the quick fill cap, the process is painless and mess free. The entire reactor vessel only needs to be rinsed out completely once per month to dispose of any precipitants and make room for fresh calc washer powder. When draining the reactor completely, be mindful not to misplace the magnetic mixer rod. Well, that's our video for today. If you'd like to learn more about the ice cap calc mixer, including detailed specs, beautiful high quality pictures, and replacement parts, head on over to CoralV.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.